Hi guys, welcome again to this Hacker Rank Challenge, and we are going to talk about classes in C++ once again. So um, we've already talked about user-defined data types, whereby you create your own class, you uh, you define your uh, your functions and member variables, uh, use access modifiers, and etc. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, please make sure you go back and watch my first uh, video, my first Hacker Rank Challenge on C++ classes. So here what we are going to do, um, the, this challenge is about a student called Kristen. And we need to write a program to help her um, know how many students have scored higher than her in the five exams uh, during the semester. So uh, the instructions are here. What we have to do is basically four things. First, we have to create a student class, which we're going to do right here. Secondly, we need to create an instance variable, which is the same thing as a member variable. Uh, we, we need to call that scores, and it needs to hold a student's five exam scores. Now this is saying something. It's a single variable, but it's holding, it's supposed to hold five values. So it cannot be a normal ints or double variable, for instance. It needs to be an array. It's a collection of values. We need to use an array here. Secondly, we need to create a function or a method for, in the class called inputs, and it will read five integers and save them into the scores array. So here, once again, it, it's not supposed to be a simple function because it needs to read five times and save them. So the reading and saving needs to re be repeated five times. So we need to use a loop, and here we're going to use a for loop. I have a previous video on this channel where I talked about for loops. It was a previous uh, hacker rank challenge. I will try and link it down below in the description. And uh, lastly, we need to create a method or function called calculate um, total scores. And the return type has to be int because we are supposed to return the sum of the student scores as an integer. So let's get started. Um, we don't have to worry about that. Here, basically, we are creating a, you know, the, a collection of students. Then we, we are calling the input function. And then here, we are checking how many uh, scored higher than Kristen. So this is already given. It's a logged section in the code. I can type, I can do anything here. So we are going to go ahead and create our student class. So you already know, um, first we need to write class, then the name of the class, students, don't forget the semicolon here. Then our access uh, modifiers, private for our member variables, public for our methods. So the first thing that we need to do is um, create the scores variable. And this is an array. You can write int scores and an array of length five. Sorry, scores. Like that. that variable here, that array, can store five integers. Now in public, let's not forget, it's a good practice to have the uh, constructor and then the destructor before we do anything else. So the destructor, you just add the tilde symbol. You write the name of the class like that. So this is an empty destructor. It doesn't do anything. We're also going to have an empty constructor because we don't need to worry about that for this uh, actor rank challenge. I can remove the semicolon. All right, so now let's uh, work on our um, input methods. It's a void function because it doesn't return anything. So void input. And here, first of all, I want to have a variable called score. And then I want to add a for loop here for int i equals zero. i is less than five, because we already know that uh, we need to repeat that operation five times. i plus plus. I want to read a value into score. So I'm going to say scores. This is my scores array. Maybe to clarify, I should, I should call this scores array like that. Now I can say scores array. Index i is equal to the score that I've just read, right? So um, the first, the first uh, iteration of that loop is going to be index 0. So the first position in that array is going to be the first score. And it's going to go on index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 for the five scores. So we are now done with that uh, method. Now let's proceed with the calculates total uh, score method. 
and uh, the return type here is ints because we, we are supposed to return an ints, an integer. So we are going to uh, first have a variable called sum. I'm going to initialize it with the value of zero. And I could also use uh, in my for loop the number five, but just to remind you guys in C++, if you want to um, get the, uh, the size of an array, you can use the size of function. Um, I believe the size of function is part of SCD. Don't put me on that, but um, I'm able to use it without having uh, SCD like that, right? So it should be, I believe, in the SCD um, namespace. So let's let's go ahead and say int array length. We create our own variable and we can say equals size of our array, which is scores array divided by the first elements in the array. All right, and this should give us the length, um, the length of uh, the array, which is the number of um, of values it is storing. I'll try and add um, a link in the description of this video for you guys to read more about the size of function, uh, how it works in the background. Now I'm going to get to my for loop again. Int i equals zero. I is less than array length. And having it like this makes it more dynamic, right? It means we can run it um, as many times as we, as we want. We don't have to hard code a value like five in, in it, okay? Uh, but for the purpose of this uh, hyper rank challenge, it's purely optional. I'm just doing that to show you guys. Then I plus plus. And now I can say sum plus equals for I, which means whatever value is being um, um, held in that position in the scores array. Actually, it should be scores array. That's the name of our array. So the first time, the uh, value of uh, the sum variable is zero. And writing sum plus equals uh, scores array is the same thing as saying sum equals sum plus scores array. So zero equals zero plus the first um, score in the array. And then in the second iteration, it will update the value again with the uh, second score in the array. It's, it will keep summing up over and over again until uh, we exit that loop, okay? So I think it's just more elegant to write it like that, plus equal. And then when we are done with it, let's not forget to return that sum variable because it's an int, uh, the return type is int, so we need to return that integer variable. So when we are done, we can now run this code right here. And we've passed. Let's just submit the code to make sure that we've passed all the uh, test cases. And we did. So again, quick recap. This is reading the value from the uh, user at every iteration and storing that value in the array from index 0 to index 4 so that it has five integers stored in it. The, uh, this method just uh, runs through the array and updates a variable called sum. Notice that we've declared sum outside the for loop and we update it inside the for loop by um, adding up every, uh, every value from the scores array. And when we are done, we return it and we can then use it in our program like so. So uh, we've passed this uh, test. If um, if you guys like this video, please make sure you subscribe, uh, drop any questions you have whatsoever in the comment section, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye.